Hello, YouTubers. This is Angela Logan bringing you more shenanigans on this hot and humid and rainy day in the high 10, September 27, 2019. I'm bringing you some information deriving out of Roanoke, Virginia. This is for my new Facebook friend, Miss Mary Mangum. How are you doing, Miss Mary? This is for you and the residents of Roanoke, Virginia. You said you wanted me to help in some sort of way, and I'm assuming it was to make a video. I made a promise to you. I try to keep my promises, and this is for you all of Roanoke, Virginia. You all obviously have a crime problem going on there in the urban demographics of Roanoke, Virginia, and I have done a little bit of research, and I have seen that you have had uh, quite a few shootings here just in the past two months in Roanoke, and uh, it is sad. It is very sad, and it's always sad when there is a loss of life. And there was a recent incident of a young man who was shot in a Rono, and he did die uh, from his injuries. So I want to get it started with um, with the first incident that took place on September 22nd. A young man was found, uh, or a male was found deceased um, in a business. The news didn't specify what the business was, so I was kind of curious to that. They didn't give any type of information to anything about him, the business, or anything. But uh, he was found shot inside of business. He died. It's in the 100 block of 20th Street Northwest. That was on September 22nd. On September 12th, a young male juvenile was found dead in a car at 13th Street and Southwest before 10 p.m. No arrest in that case. No arrest in the male shot on September 22nd. So mind you, in a 10-day span, you all have had several shootings where a man died just a few days ago. No arrest. September 12th, a young black boy was found shot in a car. No arrest. Now I'm going to pan you back to July, uh, the 17th of July of this year. Two, three people were found shot in a car. And two died and one was wounded. And this was in Northwest Roanoke about 2 a.m. in the morning. Officers heard uh, gunshots. So they trailed a car that was going on to Orange Avenue. It was Orange Avenue and 11th Street. And they trailed this car in the 800 block of Orange Avenue where they stopped the car and found that three people had been shot inside this vehicle. They do not know where the incident took place. But a woman was pronounced dead on the scene. Two were taken to uh, Carillion Roanoke, Roanoke uh, Memorial Hospital, where one man later died. And I guess another, the last one was uh, hospitalized. Okay, so the young juvenile who was found in a car, his name is Savio Scales. He was 17 years old and, once again, a victim of gun violence with no suspects at the time okay but then later with an update it states that an Osme Clements is one of the suspects that the police are seeking he is believed to be five feet tall 110 pounds and he is a suspect in this case he is being charged with first degree murder and the use of a firearm in the commission of a murder one other person was apprehended and arrested in this case against Mr. Savio Scales, 17. His name is Sink Fayette, 18, of Roanoke, and he's being charged with second-degree murder. Okay, so. Now, on to some more shenanigans. Excuse me. I have so many notes I have to, to keep up with. Okay, now let's go back up to this month where another shooting took place in Roanoke. As of September 5th, a young man by the name of Michael Jackson, who was 42 years of age, got into an altercation with three other men in a convenience store there in Roanoke. The the argument escalated outside into the parking lot where this Mr. Jackson was shot and he died from his wounds at the hospital. And this happened at uh, Burrell Street. So obviously, just in the past month, there have been a few shootings. Then you go back to July. You had some shootings. And it seems like Roanoke is having a crime wave. 
I don't know what's going on. I don't know if any of these crimes are related. I don't know if it's just because it's hot outside. You know, us black folks tend to get heated and we tend to, I don't know, like to show out and clown. And some of us, sad to say, like to use guns to solve our problems. But it's, it's, it seems to be a sad case. And I see why Miss Mangum, you know, asked me about helping. And I don't mind doing the video because my thing is, this is a big country. We don't know every little detail of every city, town, what's going on in these places. And so it's helpful to have these YouTube videos where you can see what's going on in America and what's going on in neighboring counties, states, or whatever. And Roanoke seems to be having a gun violence problem. Okay. There was also a shooting in the Hollands area where three people were shot inside of a house. And I don't know the demographics, if the people were uh, African-American, Caucasian, or whatever. I really couldn't tell. I just saw a brief video. And that was in the county. And so it's, it's obvious that the Roanoke area is having some crime problems. And let me say that um, six people have died since 2019 from gun violence in Roanoke. And this was reported as of July 18th of this year, those statistics. And there was a Mr. Um, Kevin McNeil who is working with the gun task force in uh, Roanoke and he is a reverend and he said he had some sense of hope when they did the, uh, the gun rally or whatever. And then lo and behold, right after the rally, just a few days later, they had some shootings. So I guess, you know, it's kind of like, well, what was the purpose of this rally? Now we got the people running, shooting each other right after we have the rally. So I can see how a person would lose hope. You know, after you then stomped and marched and talked and preached and cried, and then days later, somebody gets murdered. Let me give you the demographics of uh, what's going on in Roanoke. And also, before I do that, I want to give you the name of the victims of the uh, three that were found uh, shot and died in that car. Uh, a young lady by the name of Kiana Casey, 21, Justin Jennings, 31. Those were the ones that were shot near Orange Avenue, Orange Avenue and 11th Street Northwest. Also, a Deontra Clemens, 30, was hospitalized. Now we're going to go into the statistics of Virginia, of Roanoke, Virginia. It is estimated that there are 49 per uh, incidents per 1,000 residents in Roanoke area. It has also been said that one you have a 1 in 20 chance of being a victim of violence and or property theft in Roanoke. Okay, so there you have that. Um, they've had 259 related gun-related incidents in Roanoke. In 2019 versus 269 as of last year so that's only a 10 people difference from last year to this year which is still bad in a small town of 96,000 that is the current population of Roanoke Virginia as of 2011 statistics 96,714 now I'm assuming there's more people living in Roanoke I don't know but you're still under a hundred thousand people Okay, so with the statistics I just gave you of 259 gun-related incidents in 2019, 81 were violent considering of homicide, aggravated assaults, and robberies. So the difference is it went from 26 to 52 in statistics of this year. Still bad of a small place of 96,000 of, of, what did it say? 96,000 people. Then you have a one in 20 chance of being a victim. That doesn't sound any, any better. So, you know, you, uh, like I say, you do the math on this, but obviously Roanoke is having a problem with gun violence. 
So uh, I want to make sure I got all that information given to you all. But Mary, I will be praying for you all in Roanoke. I'll be praying for all the people in America because we do have a crime wave going on in small towns just as well as big cities. And it's obvious you all have got a lot going on right now of 96,000 people, or let's just say under 100,000 people, a lot of people being shot and murdered for whatever reason. I don't know if it's robbery. I don't know what it is. Just like the man who was just killed on the 22nd. It didn't give much information, didn't give a name, didn't give any details to what type of business it was, which I thought was odd. And I'll be praying for you all. I'll be praying for Roanoke, the citizens of Roanoke, Virginia, because like I said, after Googling the information today, you all do seem to have quite a few incidents of gun violence and murder there. And in a small town, that can be very scary because you don't know if you're going to be one of those people that's going to be harmed. And I think it's sad that people can't raise their children. People can't live. And it's, it's just a sad tale of what's going on in America today. So Mary, this one is for you, praying for you and the residents of Roanoke, Virginia. And I'm praying that all these people who are involved in these crimes, that their killer or killers are found and that they get justice for these people. My sincerest condolences and prayers to the victims that were named in this video. And I'll be praying for Roanoke and you all stay safe out there and have a blessed weekend. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I love you. Bye-bye.